So guess what? If you are struggling right now as a, a coach, consultant, speaker, trainer, and you're wondering, where am I going wrong? What must I be doing? I got you sorted out. First things first, okay? I want you to focus more than you have ever focused right now and stop putting things off for later. I need you to start doing this right now. And yes, I use that title up there. For those of you who are struggling and you want to get going first right now, I got a short video here that is going to help you to kind of refocus and know what you must be focusing on right now to get clients. It's not your website. It's not how good your logo looks. It's not all these uh, shiny objects. No, it is just simple stuff that actually makes a difference. Now, what are those things that you must start doing? Number one, clarity. Every time that any coach that I'm working with or any of my students have struggled in the first, uh, in the first place, most of it is about <coughs> clarity. What do I mean by clarity? Your niche. Are you super clear? Are you super clear who you're serving, what their biggest problem is, how your solution helps them, and most importantly, the life transformation that your offer makes for them, okay? Number two, are you aware of the market and where they are um, in terms of the niche? Well, how is the, the market dynamic right now? What is the market looking for? What is the market saying? I always say there's no other way to find out what you need to do for your client than to go and ask them and or find out from the market. Next, is the problem and minimum optimum service. What do I mean? Do you know their problem? Do you know what keeps them awake at night? And most importantly, do you have the quickest, the most outstanding solution that will give them a life transformation? That is what we call the minimum optimum service. What, what is that minimum but optimum? What is that? The, the least you can do, the least time you can use to give them the biggest transformation as far as their problem is concerned. And then obviously, do you know who your ideal avatar is? It amazes me how many people come through uh, the, the, uh, the different courses they do and stuff like that, and they have actually not identified who their ideal avatar is. And most importantly, where to find those people. And that is so crucial. That is so, so important for your business. So first things first, if you're struggling and you're not getting clients and whatever, take a step back and ask yourself, okay, do I have total clarity on who my people are, the people that I want, what their problem is, how I can solve the problem, what kind of offer I can make and how I am pricing it. Next, after you've decided who they are, where, I want you to pick a source of traffic and go after it with obsession. I'll tell you something very interesting. Everyone who has mastered a certain source, whether it is Facebook, whether it is LinkedIn, whether it is YouTube, whether it is email, whether it is TikTok, whatever it is, whoever has taken time to master it and go deep and find what makes it tick will always tell you that theirs is the best. Okay, There are guys right now who say you cannot convince them anything about Facebook. Okay, And there are other guys who say, you know what? YouTube is the thing for me. There are other guys right now who say, I don't know what you as coaches are doing, not hanging out on LinkedIn. And then TikTok has come in. And then Instagram. Now, listen, Facebook has been the king, okay, of all kinds of, of getting people. Now, Facebook with Instagram has been very good to coaches, consultants, speakers. But also when it comes to the consulting and, and people who are consulting for the professional side of things, then LinkedIn has been the best. Whatever you decide to choose after you've discovered where your people hang out, where your niche hangs out, obsess about it, give it everything, learn about it, know how it works, their logarithm, who's making it work, who are winning, who are not winning, do whatever it takes to master it. Why? It takes mastery before you can begin to make it work for you. And that is what people miss. They're jumping from one to another. They're putting money here. No. In fact, if you ask me, you use what we call the hybrid method. Start with organic. Whatever you decide, whichever traffic source you decide, start with organic and go all in, okay? Because organic, you're not paying nothing, okay? You're just finding the strategies. And if you employ the strategy that we show you, what you have to do on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in world-class consultants with audacity, it will begin to build you up very, very quickly and give you the clients that you need, okay? Consistency and mastery is the key there, okay? Design a compelling content strategy. Five days, every day, there is something that you put out there that is designed to take people from strangers to trust. You're using what you call symptom words. You're using for keywords. You're coming up with videos and content that really gives these people that idea that not only do you care about them, not only do you want to help them, but you know what you're talking about. 
people will always make up their minds if they're going to do business with you after you have built some trust. OK, or after they look at you and they say, this is a kosher guy, there's some consistency there. They know what they're talking about. And before you know it, you will begin to see people coming in and giving you the business that you desire. When you have uh, built your compelling content strategy, people are beginning to come into your system. You're using the OVO. OK, we talk about that. OK, if you haven't attended my number one webinar that I do every Tuesday and Thursday, you better register for that. I will leave the link right here so that you can get out and learn what the OVO is because it is the master. That is what everybody who's killing it is using right now, okay? So nurture the people who come in. What does nurture mean? Create a relationship, give them value, answer their questions, go to their communities, learn what is going on, learn the kind of questions. For example, I tell you this, this topic right here, there's a lot of coaches struggling out there on you know client acquisition and um, turning those clients into long-term clients and the reason they're struggling is exactly what i'm telling you they don't have clarity they don't have uh, they haven't chosen a source that they can go after and most important importantly they don't have a content strategy especially if you're going to go organic initially and, and by the way those who don't go organic they go and spend a lot of money on facebook and guess what they end up burning and it doesn't work and they're wondering why it's not working hey it is because of exactly what i am talking to you about Position yourself in such a way that you are creating a knowledge gap. Show your people where they're missing out so that when you bridge the knowledge gap, they see you as the expert, okay? Give them the information that you know they need. Give them the information to show that they are at point A, but there is point F. And to get to point F, there are certain things they're missing. And if they get those things right, bingo, okay? Next, trust and the trust don't don't imagine look people do business with people they trust it's just as simple as that but you got to earn it how do you earn it by giving by being honest by being the kind of person who genuinely wants to help by also obsessively getting out there and helping and giving stuff and answering questions and knowing what is going on in the niche and when you do that before you know it you've earned the trust so what has this got to do with everything else okay right there is what you need to focus on. Get your clarity, pick a niche, uh, I mean, pick a source of, of, of traffic where you're gonna find them. Consistently, consistently do what you have to do so that you can gain mastery, design a compelling content strategy, nurture them, position them, trust the earn, and then ultimately the final part, uh, make offers, make offers, make offers. When people trust you, when they see that you have uh, something that they want, they see that you're knowledgeable, you're consistent, Give make offers, tell them you have a course, tell them whatever, and make offers every freaking week, okay? Talk to them every week and tell them, yes, I'm in business to help you out, all right? And with that, I can guarantee you, you get unstuck, you begin to start getting the clients that you need. Most importantly, you start to build a business that makes a difference. Most importantly, that makes an impact and leaves an indelible mark after you. So until next time, as usual, please remember to live strong and live with passion and know that you have the audacity to live life on your terms. Until next time. Peace.